Sometimes moves happen in the NHL that are nearly unimaginable. Not unthinkable, of course a player could move teams at any time, but to then imagine a certain player in a different uniform, that's where it becomes difficult. Whether it's Martin Brodeur in St. Louis, Daniel Alfredson in Detroit, Mike Madano in Detroit, you get the point, and the newest member of that list may just be Henrik Lundqvist, who after 15 years is no longer a member of the New York Rangers. It's been bought out of the final year of his seven year deal that began back in 2014. And now for the Rangers, this opens up space for Shestyorkin slash Shesterkin and Georgiev to take the reins. The safety shoot, it's gone. It's their time to sink or swim as the Rangers continue this rebuild on the fly and continue to move back in to true playoff contention. It's also their time, though, to suffer through $13 million worth of dead cap space. That said, after this buyout and the Mark Stahl trade earlier in the week where they gave up a second round pick to move on from the last year of his deal, the Rangers are still looking at $23 million in cap space to use, and with who they have to re-sign, barring some awful negotiating, the Blue Shirts will have plenty of cap space to weaponize in free agency ahead. For Henrik Lundqvist, well, I don't really know what this means for Hank. He's heading into this upcoming season, whenever it starts, at 38 years old. At times, there have been glimpses of the old Lundqvist, but Father Time catches up to all. A dominant 15-year run that's likely to land him in the Hall of Fame will not be forgotten anytime soon, but the question now is whether or not we've seen the last of him in the NHL. Maybe he's content with returning to Sweden and playing out his days with Frölunda once more, or maybe that drive is still there. That desire to not end up on the greatest of all time list who don't have a Stanley Cup, that's likely still intact, especially, and I'm sorry Rangers fans, considering he's only been to one Stanley Cup final, and that didn't go so well for him. Personally, and perhaps unsurprisingly, I hope Hank stays in the NHL. Now, certainly, the history is interesting enough that perhaps one day we'll take a full look back at the entirety of Hank's career so far, but for now, we wait to see what the next chapter will be.